and welcome to another session of Don't Know, Ask Father Tuzo. Today we have a couple of questions that concern reception of the Holy Eucharist. And one of them is, as a child I was trained that the proper way to receive the Eucharist was to stick out my tongue and not to touch the host. I've never received on my hand because of how I was taught. Can you help explain the change in teaching? Thank you. Uh, there's no name given. Okay. And another question was, my grandmother was taught it was a sin to touch the Eucharist. So kind of similar questions here. So there's a lot to deal with here. Reception of Holy Communion. And I'm going to give you just a little bit of a history. The very first Eucharist, the Last Supper, the apostles received Jesus, of course, in their hands. And this was the practice of the early church. Now we have some writings from St. Cyril of Jerusalem, and this was in the fourth century. He gave this when he instructed the newly baptized, and he wrote, In approaching communion, Therefore, come not with thy palms extended and stretched out flat, nor with thy fingers open, but make the left hand as if a throne for the right, hollowing out the palm to receive the body of Christ, saying after it, Amen. Then after thou hast with care sanctified thine eyes by the touch of the holy body, partake thereof, giving heed, lest thou lose any particle of it. For shouldest thou lose any of it, it is though thou have lost a member of thine own body. For tell me, if any one gave thee gold dust, wouldst thou not all precaution keep it fast, being on guard, lest thou lose any of it, and suffer loss? So how much more cautiously, then, wilt thou observe that not a crumb falls from thee, of what is more precious than gold and precious stones? Note, too, the care given to explain what is being done. Who they were receiving and the reverence that they were to take. For reverence, this is one of the main aspects to discuss when receiving the most holy body of Christ. Okay, at some point, and from what I could research, there's not a specific point in time that you can definitively pinpoint that that's when the reception of the Eucharist was changed. People started to receive on the tongue. Again, there are reasons that can be pointed to as why this practice was changed, but I believe mostly because of the possibility of desecration of the Eucharist. That one could receive in the hand, not receive in front of the priest, take it with them, and not consume it. And it could be used for evil purposes. So reception on the tongue was the norm and remained up till recent times. In the late 1960s, reception in the hand was allowed. And it was left up to the bishops, as if they wanted to allow this practice in their diocese. And in the United States, this option of receiving on the hand has been available since May of 1977, and the Holy See confirmed it. So, is it a sin to receive on the hand? No. Was it taught? Probably was taught at the time. But remember, only reception on the tongue was allowed at that time. And as you have just heard, reception of the Eucharist has changed over the years. Now the other question, has the teaching changed? Well, as I explained earlier, this practice has changed over the years and reception in the hand is allowed. From the germ, the consecrated host may be received either on the tongue or in the hand at the discretion of each communicant. When Holy Communion is received under both kinds, the sign of reverence is also made before receiving the precious blood. This sign is usually a simple bow. Now, let's look at what's going on in the world right now. An unprecedented situation. The COVID-19 pandemic has hit us hard. It's caused many things in the world to change in society, and the church has been greatly affected as well. In-person attendance at Mass had to be suspended throughout most of the world. And there's still so much uncertainty concerning this virus. So out of an abundance of safety precautions, measures were taken to ensure people's safety when returning to Mass in person. Social distancing, wearing masks, no holy water, singing was reduced or stopped, no handshaking, no precious blood was distributed, and reception of the Eucharist was greatly encouraged to be received on the hand. All of this for safety. Yours, your neighbors, your priests, everyone. That is the reason. There's been no theological change. The motivation is only for public safety. So not just for an individual, 
but for us all. Once this pandemic is over, and we pray this will happen very, very soon, we will go back, hopefully, to our normal and usual practices. Now, one last point I want to make on the reception of the Eucharist. And this is what St. Cyril stressed about reception. It's what truly matters is your interior disposition, what you hold in your heart. That whether you receive on the tongue or on the hand, kneeling, standing, sitting. It's your interior disposition, what you believe and what you hold in your heart, how clean your heart is. I hope this has helped and keep the questions coming.